Hello, doing a sit down makeup video after what feels like a while and I'm specifically doing this Nykaa makeup finds, Nykaa haul of sorts pretty much uh, because the Nykaa hot pink sale literally just starts today. This is not a sponsored video at all uh, but I wanted to kind of go ahead and show you some of my current favorites, things I'm reaching for, things I'm loving because I felt like if you were going to go ahead and shop during the sale then this would be obviously this would make sense i am going to be leaving a ton of links for you down below full disclaimer as i always leave in my description section sometimes a lot of these links are affiliate links so not just me but if you ever want to support one of your favorite creators or creators whose content you like and resonate with go ahead and try and use their codes or affiliate links whenever possible because it does help us generate a small commission a small revenue through your sale you don't pay anything extra putting that out there. Let's not make this intro long and let's dive right into it because there's a lot of makeup sitting in front of me over here. Okay, so I wanted to go in category but I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do that so I might go a little bit random. Leave a comment and let me know if you want a skincare or a skin and hair version of this also down below in the comment section. You know I'm always reading, liking, having and responding to each and every one of your comments. So let me not keep talking and let's just uh, do this here. Let me get the most obvious thing out of the way. The Maybelline Fit Me. You know I love this. I live for it. I use this on my under eyes all the time. I don't use this all over my face because I have dry skin. But I do use this on my under eyes for that little added coverage. I mean my dark circles have gotten a lot, 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 lot better. But I still feel like it helps cancel out any grayness. So... Putting this one right there, I wear the shade medium 25 in this baby. Then I have a relatively new discovery and I didn't actually buy this on Nykaa. I actually bought this from Sephora America because my friend was flying down and she asked me if I'd like to, if like she'd keep, if I want any things from there. And I said, hey, yes. And I ordered a bunch of things from Sephora US and sent that to her. So there's a haul coming up on that separately also. I bought the Hollywood filter, which is like a little tinted highlighter of sorts. I have to admit that the first time I wore this, I wasn't very impressed because I said, yeah, foundation here highlighter hair glow hair kya hai i'm not able to figure it out but i've used it a couple of times since i mix it with a foundation or i apply foundation on top of it and it gives me the most beautiful radiance dewiness i love it i'm living for it and uh, if this fits your budget i'm highly recommending this item also not many items like this in the indian market but we do have two others, not in the form of this, because I'll be very honest, what this is doing is very different from these two over here. From the dewiness, glow, use with or before foundation angle, yes, similar. Uh, there's the very, very OG MAC strobe cream. I feel like with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood uh, Flawless Hollywood... What is it? Flawless filter. Hollywood flawless filter. I'm not getting the name right. Um, with this one, it does like a little bit of a filter like job, which you know I love if you know anything about the IRL Paris filter, which also I have used right here, sitting over here for my brand verified. Um, but what this does is gives that dewiness. This doesn't highlight your textures, your pores, which is great. I can't say the same thing for the MAC strobe cream, but it's a damn good strobe cream and speaking of like i feel like charlotte price point and then mac price point and then we're at lacme price point because i have their lumi cream over here now i would not use this as a moisturizer i would use this as a illuminator of sorts it says moisturizer with highlighter i personally found it more to be a highlighter because i have dry skin so maybe it'll work for normal or oily skin types for me i didn't feel soft supple deeply hydrated as such of course it doesn't have those claims but i'm putting a little bit of that disclaimer out there in case you have dry skin use a moisturizer and then use this would be my advice with the moisturizer before this is is fantastic no questions asked um what has grown to become one of my like long time i think now this is in my holy grails list this is the color bar jacqueline collection felt liners you know how much i love felt liners they have a blue and a black in this collection really really nice the shape is really nice too helps you with a grip the felt tip is fantastic top notch quality and uh, if you are in the market for a new liner i'm highly recommending and if you like felts which i think most people do and should 
do you let me know down below in the comments um then this is something i will for sure recommend in the like speaking of liners i was going to say in the name of liners what am i praying um <laughs> speaking of liners this mac gel pot is another one of my ogs can i be honest like really honest this must have expired oh no like i've had this for so long but it doesn't dry out and i like that about it like it doesn't it dries out but it doesn't dry out as much as let's say the maybelline one does but the maybelline one is very sasta sundar tikau so if you use it every day even that is freaking fantastic even the l'oreal one is really really good and if i remember correctly the l'oreal one also has a brown um and then there's the mac one so basically i like all of them i really really do there are very few gel pots that i will be like nahi ye to nahi chalega Uh, this is not a gel pot. It is a brow pomade. This one is from Benefit. I use this in the shade 4.5. I've also used it in the shade 5, which is now over. Beautiful, beautiful brow product. If you want something that's really good, high on quality, and I feel like with pomades, the minute you get into pomades, you leave your pencils, you leave your brow um, uh, mascara, not brow mascara. What's it called? Brow gel. I'm blanking clearly. You leave everything the minute you become a pomade person. that's just been my learning of life um then we have again something you've heard me talk about the lacme 9 to 5 foundation i really really love this i wear this in the shade 320 warm which is like a w 320 w 320 i'm sorry and it's called warm caramel i always remember the numbers and i will sometimes forget the names which is really weird because normally it's the other way around for people um this is a really 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 good product a major major points for being such a bang for your buck kind of product fantastic would highly recommend even someone like me who is dry skin okay then i have like three mascaras in front of me and they are pretty much all at different price points let me start with the one that you obviously expect this is the l'oreal paris voluminous lash paradise mascara i love it i have been saying this for the past two or three years at this point 2020 se bol rahi hu 2020 2021 22 yeah pretty much this mascara is everything i have friends who don't like it because they feel it's too painful to take it off my solution is using an oil based makeup remover this is worth it because you're worth it that was a really sad joke um worth it go for it totally worth your money and time and also using that oil based makeup remover i promise then we have the real magnet um benefit mascara i don't know why i didn't pull up the bad gal bang one i'll pop up a picture over here also such a good mascara benefit knows how to do their brows and mascaras literally no jokes um and then we have not only why this is one of my favorites also this is the extended play mac giga black giga black giga giga black lash confused with names today This mascara is okay. This mascara is a little bougie. I'll tell you why. Because it doesn't do anything to your normal lashes, but for your lower lashes, it is a god scent. The wand is so nice and so thin um, that it perfectly covers up your lower lashes without accidentally reaching your under eye area, which I'm sure you can relate to. If uh, what has happened to me a bunch of times over the years has also happened to you. Highly, highly, highly recommending this for sure. One hundred percent worth the money also, and uh, just lasts really nice and long, and gives a good hold on your keeps a good hold on your lashes. Then we have should I do the other benefit product? No, okay, this is in my hand. Huda. Now this is not a matte liquid lipstick. This is a demi matte liquid lipstick. Tell me down below in the comments what is your favorite lipstick finish. Cause like I know glosses are in and tints are cool and clean girl makeup and all that kind of jazz. Um, this is a great formula on days when I'm okay with demi matte. If I'm being fully honest, those are very few days in general. Um, because I like a matte. I like a matte because I feel like it's just it's there. I don't have to worry about it. Like my hair will not stick into it and stuff like that. Um when it comes to glosses and demi mattes I'm very very picky which makes this formula even more special because it really really is thankfully my hair does not get stuck onto this um so that's why I'm recommending it this is in the shade game changer in my hand but I have a whole lot of shades from this collection and uh, 
I would recommend that too. I have the Hoola stick over here. Now I love the Hoola powder. I really, 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 really do. I've run out of it, so I don't have it in my hand, but I do. I'm popping up a picture over here for you. I do recommend the Hoola shades in general, whether in the form of a powder or whether in the, in the form of a stick. If you are someone who's, um, I have dry skin, so the stick also works really, really well on me. If you have very oily skin, I would not recommend the stick because it's so buttery um, that it might slip and slide and oil may not really work with it. But I would recommend that like the Shadi season is around the corner, the wedding season, the festive season, the party season uh, for that little bronzing vibe I would recommend hula either stick or powder whatever works for you now much like the Hollywood filter over here from Charlotte Tilbury I have the Pat McGrath dark star mascara I bought this from Sephora America before uh, they launched on Nykaa so I'm really glad that they have and I hope that they have this mascara oh my god I didn't do a check whether they have this particular mascara I'll check and obviously I will leave links like I mentioned for you down below. Fantastic! Worth every paisa you pay on this one. It is so good. It holds your lashes. It gives a volume. It gives a curl. It is not painful to take out at all. Um, and it's just very like beautiful looking. I'm sorry but with makeup. I sometimes like I'm a little wow. Look at it. Feels and looks so luxe. Um, so yeah. Highly, highly, highly recommending this if you uh, have the budget for it for your mascara. Last but not the least, we have the Key Beauty Concealer. What shade do I wear this in? I don't want to get it wrong. 150N, which is a medium. And uh, again, really, I'm actually wearing it today. Really, really, really nice concealer. I feel like it does the job. They have a decent shade range. Fits the budget beautifully. Um, it's nice, slim, stick. Decent packaging on brand for K because they have the little K logo going everywhere. And with that, we have come to the end of my current favorites. Of course, what you're not seeing over here are my verified favorites. If you want to go to my verified favorites, please go to verified.in. But um, I because my in case you're wondering, right? Like the reason you don't see bullet lipsticks here is because I only wear verified bullet lipsticks. Hello. Um, and my own blushes and my own highlighters. So I'll be honest and say that it is what it is we do have a monsoon uh sale coming up on verified as well oh my god should i mention that here while doing the nika hot fix sale okay we do have a monsoon sale coming up on verified i'll leave a pinned comment with the information from 29th july to 31st july where we're doing 10 15 or 20 percent off on your checkout on across the range of lipsticks blushes and highlighters and um this depends on, of course, whether you're buying one product, you get 10% off. If you're buying two products, you get 15% off. And if you buy three products, you get 20% off, leaving coupon codes on the screen for you and in the pinned comment. Wow, I did not plan to plug that in here, I swear. But it just kind of rolled off the tongue and I said, hey, why not? It's my brand, I should mention it. Um, okay, I'm going to tune out. I love you very, very, very much. Wait, 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 where fam comment, Charlotte? I'm not going to forget. The way I fan comment shout out for the day goes to Shweta Ghosh. Thank you for always talking to me in the comments. You know I'm always reading, liking, hiding and responding to each and every one of you. Okay, I'm gonna go now. I love you. See you in the next one. Bye. Happy shopping.